All right, let's have a word of prayer and we'll dive into this. Father God, we thank you for another bad night for the devil, another great night for us, Lord. We thank you that Jesus is Lord. We thank you that this is our time to see days of glory, days of abounding, and days flourishing in our lives. We thank you, Lord, that this is your word for us to us and what you want to see us walking in in 2018 in all the days of our lives. We don't draw back from that, but tonight we just take the time to thank you for that, Lord, to set our affections on you tonight, Lord, to come together in one accord to allow your spirit to move and to do what only you can do in our midst tonight. Holy Spirit, we welcome you into this place. Jesus, our beloved brother, we are your bride. Come visit us tonight. Father God, may your heart be warmed by everything that we do tonight. May Jesus be high and lifted up. And in his name we pray, amen. Before we go on to the next one, you know, raise your hand if something's impossible in your life. All right, come forward. If it is impossible, you got something impossible. There's no way in the natural... Are we natural people? No. We've been praying with this uh, family out on the West Coast. Uh, Both of their babies ended up with the same infection. And just as a worship team, we've been praying over them and joining with other people all over this nation and probably all over the world believing for these babies to be healed. And um, they've, they've... gotten better, which is just so cool. Like last week, one of them should have just died. Should not have even made it. But no, but God. He's the God of the impossible. Amen? So if you're facing something impossible right now, and if you're watching my way of live stream, or maybe you're watching this by YouTube later on, if there's something impossible in our lives, greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. And oftentimes things that are impossible for long periods of time, a lot of that has to do with we're more conscious of the problem than we are of God. That's not anything for condemnation's sake, not at all, because I've stood in faith for years for some things um, and finally had breakthrough. I'm like, God, why did it take so long? I know your word, I stand on it, I confessed on it. He says, you were more mindful of the problem then you were with me. Wow. I'm just giving a little testimony even in Rick's and my finances. When we started being more mindful, God, where you want us to give, that's when increase hit. Right, Kenny? Yeah, because now I'm not thinking, oh, am I going to pay my bills? Am I going to get this done? I got to do this. I gotta... No, I'm more my, I'm like, God, you supply all my needs. My job is to sow. And to be led by the spirit, right? So if it's a financial thing that you're believing for, that's a little nugget. Now don't go just giving all your money away. You get, I mean, you can't, God will get it back to you. But hear from the Lord. You've got to hear for you. You can't do what Dr. Savelle does. You can follow his plan that he's learned, but it has to be your revelation, amen? If it's healing in your body, place your affections on the Lord. That's what I did to receive my healing. I placed my affections on the Lord so much that he took up all the space and therefore sickness didn't have any room to exist and it it left. Amen? If it's relationships that look absolutely impossible, be more mindful of the greater one that lives in you. Amen? And the greater one that lives in them. Whatever it is, every area of life is covered. Amen. We bless you, Lord. We praise you. How are we doing on that? Does it work? No? Um, Can we get her the announcement mic? That would be awesome. Sorry, technical difficulties. We don't know what happened. It was working perfectly fine a little bit ago. Um, Lonnie, could you give me just a little bit more of me here? That would be awesome. So as we go in tonight, yeah, you you guys can start. As we go into tonight, I want you to just set your affections on the Lord. I ask you to come forward. There's something about standing at the front of the altar, not even in the back. 
There's something about coming forward and stepping forward and saying, you know what, that's me. I'm done with the impossible. I want impossible to be done so I can reach new impossible things. Amen? There'll always be something impossible because you're growing. Amen? But it's only achieved through intimacy with the Father and getting Him so big that it doesn't look impossible anymore. Amen? So I pray for you, those of you who step forward, that tonight your impossible looks this big. By the end, you're going to be like, ah. Because you know what happens when that happens? It's done. Your faith reaches that point of manifestation. Amen? Do you all agree with them? On the house? Agree with them. So 
Sierra Mai, 
I see the cloud and I step in.
Jesus, you're beautiful. 
God's just revealing himself in a greater way. Oh, 
But what better? 
can see your, I believe it's I can see your love eight billion different ways. Oh, 
want you to ask the Lord to give you give you a mu'ushiti and a ma'ala ki satana masiti of a ravasi either a vision or an unction a thought ask him to give you a thought to intercede for a person a nation a place it may be someone you don't even know just ask him right now in this place we're of one accord amen we're all in one accord we're all in agreement begin to ask him maybe he'll lay someone specifically on your heart a nation begin to sing out that nation and begin to declare the goodness of God and the light of God and the glory of God over that nation yes yes declare it speak it out yes 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 Come on, speak it out. Speak it out. Yes. There's a specific state, specific city, a specific country. I speak the fullness of the Lord, the fullness of God over Japan. Over every missionary that is called there, Lord, the fullness of the blessing. <clears throat> Speak the fullness of the blessing over Afghanistan. I speak the fullness of the blessing over Indonesia. Over Costa Rica. I speak the fullness of the blessing of Mexico. Come on, if you get a nation, speak it out. You know, we as a church, R.A.M., an extension of Jerry Savelle Ministries International, and, uh, you know, as you're singing this song, wow, team, this is just amazing. But I want us to get a vision for the different parts, the, the direct contact that we have for uh, JSMI Australia, JSMI Europe, JSMI Canada, JSMI Africa. Help us to understand, help, I want us to understand how, what a divine connection we have and, and, and in Crowley, think about your neighborhoods. Think about the people that you come across every single day. When you think about the billions of people that don't know Jesus today, get a vision for that. Get a vision for what we're doing here. When we stand up here on Mission Sunday and we start talking about your, your, your finances are going all over, they're going all over the world. And where your finances go, you go. But also where does your heart, where is your heart? Let your heart be for the nations. Guatemala, the places that we're constantly going into. New York, uh, the, you know, the pastors just got back from Kenya. Uh, we have offices in Tanzania, South Africa, uh, in Joburg. We got offices all over the world that you're making a direct impact in. Now, but focus, make it personal. That's what Pastor, I believe Pastor Cassie is really, make it personal. Envision people coming to the kingdom of God in Indonesia, in different places of the world, in the UK, it, wherever it is, envision them coming in. Envision yourself being that person that's making that difference. And intercede for those people that are lost. People are lost. When we're driving down the road, when you're driving through Crowley, or you're driving through South Fort Worth, or you're going to the mall, those people need Jesus. Get a passion. Get a hunger. Be a willing vessel. Lord, what's my part? I believe it's so important tonight, whether it's, whether it's financially, whether it's physically. It, it, I believe it's, it needs to be a personal 
I, I, Lord, I am committed to do whatever you're asking me to do where people are concerned. We're here because people need Jesus. We are here because we are worshiping tonight. We are here ushering in the presence of God so the anointing of God can rest upon us so we can have a deeper understanding and experience of God himself so that we can take what we're getting tonight and give it to the rest of the world. That's what God is empowering for us to do tonight. As we're drawing near to him, he is drawing near to us, but he's drawing near to us so that the deposit, the residue of who he is in us and on us will tangibly go into the crevices of every place that we go into, every job that we work at, everything that we do, every school that we go to, no matter where we go, no matter what we're doing, so that that anointing can change somebody's life. Whatever schoolroom you're in, whatever class, class you go to, whatever inter inter reaction that you have with somebody at a store, God is wanting the residue of himself to just flow into the people that we're coming in contact with. When you see somebody on TV, it's around the world, they need Jesus. They need, Je they need you and they need me to intercede for them on their behalf. A revelation of what God's empowered us to do and equipping us to do to change the world no matter where that is. Get a vision, speak it out, call it forth, bring it forth, birth it out of your spirit, man, so you can see the glory of God manifested. These are days of the glory of God. The glory of God abounding and flourishing on us so that others will see that glory and be drawn to that glory. Because when Christ is lifted up, Christ in me, Christ in you, the hope of glory, it'll draw all men to himself. Wherever you work, whatever you're doing, be the light of the world. Amen? Amen? When you said make it personal, I just heard this in, in the inside of me. It was personal to Jesus. You were personal to Jesus. But every person on this planet that has ever lived and ever will catch their breath is personal to Jesus. Mm. So we make it personal to us, Lord. I can see Lord, a billion different ways. Every precious one, a child you gave to save. You gave me life to love them so I can see languages we wouldn't even know. We wouldn't even know the names of. Sai, 
Ila na 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 malakia soto toto pashikia sata manana. We pray for Kenya right now. Just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost over Kenya. Mabobo kutisi fiela robota ananeni kera maa shati sabara ana aneni. Here a robo kutoshi here a we pray for Tanzania. But the no 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 ma ata bashiki. Ila rava kuna ma a a yo osho da do sa da na ma na ki. Ila na 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 malai a CSI. Teachers rising. Teachers rising in Tanzania. Teachers are rising in Tanzania. Teachers of the word are rising in Tanzania. They're rising. They're growing. About do 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 manani. Numbers ha ha. Multiplication. About do shiki da ba. We lift up South Africa to you right now in Jesus' name. An eradication of poverty in the name of Jesus. Children of the Most High God dwell there. I think you the blessing is unleashed. 
Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, just as Cassie and, and Rick and just talking about praying for the nations and declaring the nations. And, and I had this scripture actually this morning uh, over tonight. I didn't really know what capacity uh, it would be used in until just, just a couple minutes ago. But in Exodus 33, 12, And Moses said unto the Lord, See thou sayest unto me, Bring up this people. As they were talking, and we were talking about salvation over the nations, and, and thinking about Moses. Moses is a representation of Jesus, but also Moses is a representation of the believer. In one aspect as well. And he, ha he asked that question to God, and Moses said unto the Lord, See, thou, you, you say to me, bring up this people. Well, it's talking about bringing people into the promised land, but Moses says, bring up this people. Moses was, Moses was taking responsibility for the nations, his nation. He says, bring up this people, and, and thou hast not let me know whom thou wilt send with me, yet thou hast said, I know thee by name, and thou hast found favor and grace in my sight. Moses says, I, but who are you going to send with me? And he goes, well, I know you know me by name, and you, know, you said that I have found favor in your sight. We found favor in his sight. He knows us by name. 13 says, and now therefore I pray thee, if I have found grace in your sight, show me now the way that I might know thee, that I may find grace in thy sight, and consider that this nation is thy people. So he's like, that this is your people, God, and you want me to bring them up. The whole world is God's people, and he wants us to bring them up. Hallelujah. I just saw this in a whole new light. Verse 14, and he said, my presence shall go with you, and I will give you rest. So God was answering him. He says, if I have favor and consider that this is your people. So how it got, then God says to him, my presence will go with you and I'll give you rest. I think the message it says, my presence will go with you and I'll be with you till the end. So this whole aspect of bringing up God's people, God says, really, so how's it going to come to pass? Because my presence is going to go with you and I'll give you rest. My presence is going to go with you, and I'll give you rest. You know, uh, I was, we were late tonight, and uh, we had a, you know, you all have to be instant in season and out of season, right? You know, we had a, an emergency phone call. We had to be at the hospital, and we, so I got here late. So you always have to realize that God's presence is going to go with you wherever you go. It's not bringing, it's not bringing, it's not saving the world in our ability. It's realizing His presence goes with us. And He gives us rest. You know, it, it can be a big task, the world. <laughs> what a task. Well, how about, well, how about Walgreens? How about Walgreens on Hewlin? How about... How about Rosemary Ridge across the street? You know, I mean, we, I could label addresses, but realizing you, you can get so vast on thinking of the, the grand aspect of the world. Yeah, pray for the world. Make deposits where you're at. Pray for the world, but make those deposits where you're at because it's where you're at. You're going to take God's presence with you, and he'll give you rest. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you that you have 8 billion people that you want to bring up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you for sending, sending laborers. We ask for laborers. Thank you, Father. We ask, for, we ask for harvesters. We ask for people to awaken to their surroundings. Hallelujah. That heritage of faith, this church, Jerry Savelle Ministries, Chariots of Light International, hallelujah, that hallelujah, that we would continue to make deposits of mercy everywhere we go.
to where people are brought out of darkness and into light. Where hell is de- will decrease and heaven will multiply and increase. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Mani- manifest yourself through our lives. Manifest yourself throughout this world to every king, ruler, those in authority. Manifest yourself. Make yourself real. Hallelujah. And help us to do our part. Hallelujah. Said in Psalms 2 for ask for the nations. Hallelujah. Ask for the nations. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We ask for Fort Worth. We ask for Crowley, Granbury, Burleson, Everman, Arlington. Hallelujah. We ask for our family members, our loved ones, our children. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. That people would see and be captivated by your goodness. Captivated by your goodness. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Just right now, maybe there's a person that that you've intersected paths with. Just think, of, there's someone just in your heart, there's someone that just has come up in your heart. Every single one of us. Get someone in your heart. Someone that you know doesn't know God. Someone that's far from God. Take this moment right now and intercede for them. Them specifically. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. we're praying for. Father, I thank you that their eyes of their understanding would be opened. I thank you that they would have the ability to say yes. They'd have the ability to let go of some things and embrace a new life. Show us, reveal to us, Father, the words that we could share with them that would be, cause them to be captivated and to become God conscious even if it's just for a moment for the Holy Spirit just to to that, just that door open enough for the Holy Spirit just to, to come in and, and, and cause them to make that decision that they'd be forever changed by. Salvation come. Manifestation. Hallelujah. That we would bring them to this church body. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father.
first start, you know, they first started one-on-one evangelism or talking. It was a little bit scary. It's a little bit like stepping out of the water. But I'm telling you, you get your first person hooked on Jesus, you are hooked. Amen. Right, Jennifer? Yeah. So, Father, we consecrate our of the blessing over everyone and the sound of my voice. And we know you're going with us as we leave these walls. As we walk out these doors, you're going with us. And we will take steps of courage and faith to reach the one Each one, reach one. All right, Joseph. Each one, reach one. Each one of us will reach one. And those ones will reach another one. And soon your glory will fill the earth. We thank you, Father. We lift up the founding pastors of this house, Dr. Savelle. Father, as he travels to the nations, we go with him wherever he goes. And we thank you for strengthening him, providing for him. May his youth be renewed like the eagles as he reaches more than he's ever thought he could. 
in every place that he goes to. May there be people that hold up his hands and his arms to help carry the weight. We thank you for our pastors here, for their hearts, for this nation, for this city, for this area. Father, may we all surround them and lift up their arms as they pour out to us. And then may we go and get that one and then get another one. We thank you for it, Father. We receive the grace to do it. It is not by our own might and not by power, but by your spirit. You said it, and we trust it. And Father, those that came with impossible, I thank you, Father, that those impossibilities are possible now, and they're finished works. We agree with them as a church, as brothers and sisters in Christ. We thank you for that provision. We thank you for that healing. We thank you for that restoration that seemed impossible when they walked in, but now is possible because all things are possible to him who believes. We love you, Lord, and we bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. Do you have anything else, Pastor? We're just going to leave this presence like this, so y'all leave as you need to.